Hey, Merry Christmas. Um, I just wanted to hop on here real quick. Um, if you saw the video I made for my grandma, I was just so thankful that so many people sent me pictures and we found some and the cherry on top was really getting to put in uh, that little audio recording of her testimony. And I was just so thankful that I happened to record that a few years ago when she was a little more able to think straight and articulate those things. But really that's the legacy um, that our family was built on years ago. Our lives are better because of that yes that my grandmother said to Jesus years ago. If you heard it, you would have heard about how they happened to run into this man while they were on their way fishing. This other guy was having car trouble and my grandpa stopped to help them and he just he took the opportunity to share the simple gospel with them. You know, the truth that we're all sinners and um, we live in a fallen world because of that, that we chose to separate ourselves from God and his perfect design and creation. And with that brought the consequences of sin and death and sickness and all those things. Jesus came to this world, you know, today we're celebrating his birthday. Um, he came to this world fully God and fully man. In Ephesians 2 verses 8 and 9 it says, For by grace you've been saved by faith. Nothing you do could ever earn this salvation, for it was a love gift from God that brought us to Christ, so no one will ever be able to boast for salvation is never a reward for good works or human uh, striving. You know, I think that's just a wonderful thing to remember this Christmas season that we can all relate to like, you know, we aren't perfect. And the amazing fact that God actually loves us so much that he sent his son, that he died, was crucified on a cross, paid for our sins, but was also resurrected. And that same spirit that resurrected Jesus lives in us when you accept um, Jesus as your savior. It's nothing that, you know, it's not that we're better people than people who don't follow Jesus. It's just that we know the one that actually paid for us to be free and to be reconciled with God. So I just wanted to share this with you. And if you ever have any questions or want to know this Jesus, um, hit me up because he's totally changed my life. He set me free from anxiety and panic attacks. And I just can't imagine my life without him and without this love that he paid for us to have. So when you see your Christian friends or anything, you know, that we're sharing this Jesus that we're so in love with, it's not that we're trying to, you know, force anything on anybody or anything like that. It's just that we've encountered something so wonderful. And it's just like when you've had a really amazing meal, you know, maybe at this restaurant that nobody else knows about, or they haven't tasted it themselves. You just want to introduce that to them and so that they can experience this amazing thing that you've experienced and you know Jesus is so much more than an amazing meal. Merry Christmas and I hope this next year brings lots of joy and peace into your lives and um, that you get to experience this love that um, I've experienced um, all because of my grandma and um, her yes to Jesus that changed our whole family.